Hi everyone, this is Esther Park. Today I want to walk you through the basics of building your first class Google site. So first, let me start by talking about why. Why create a site? Why create a class Google site? First of all, I personally do not like clutters. And with many years of working with Google Classroom, I just got tired of the lack of organization and a mess that it created for me and my students and the confusion that it created. Google Site is an awesome way to streamline all your shared information with your students and your families. And also, it's super easy to upload any Google Suite document. And personally, although it took some time to set it at first, having a class site really increased my workflow and work efficiency in general. So I made the Google Slides presentation for an actual workshop that I will be um, leading. Um, and I have broken down these five different steps into smaller chunks and given them the work time. Obviously, this is a video tutorial. So I am going to walk you through each step of how to complete um, complete and build your own website. And if you would like to, you can pause the video and review my Google Slides deck, or you can review uh, my modeling through this video tutorial. All right, step one is to create your site. So this is the very first step. You are going to first go to the Google Sites. I am in sites.google.com. Um, this will be your Google Sites landing page, and you can either click the link or choose from a template gallery. If you're like me and are particular with how you want things organized, I would recommend choosing the blank canvas. If you want to use an existing template and follow the suggested organization format, choose one from the template library. So for this demo, I'm going to choose a blank template. This is your untitled site. You are going to enter your site name in two places. So I'm going to type demo and demo. Some optional things you can do is to choose a theme from the theme tab. And number two, you can change the header image. So you can either upload an image from your desktop, right? Or you can select an image from an image gallery. Or select an image from an external website, or you can search an image, Google search an image, or you can insert from your albums or your Google Drive. So let me search an image of a school. You can insert a Google image of your choice. There you go. You can give yourself a, a title, a page title here, or you can delete it by clicking the trash icon. If you look at the little icon here, you can remove the readability adjustment and make it clear, or you can adjust for readability, which makes it a little fuzzy so that if you have the text, it's easier for you to read. And if you are feeling extra, I have linked a video tutorial on the bottom of my slide deck for step one um, that you can learn how to add an animated main page banner of yourself, just like my example here. Step two. Step two is creating the sub pages. Sub pages are subsections of your site where you will house different information. 
Some suggestions for subpage titles are classwork, contact information, resources, links, Google Classroom link, and etc. Now, you will have to brainstorm and create your own list of what subpages you will need that best fits your class. This is an example of my subpages for English 10 class. I have period five classwork, period six classwork, contact information, extra resources, awards, links, and Google Classroom link, and the two Google Meet links. Also on the left side, you can see the subpages for my To create site. your own subpages, you're going to click pages. And next to the home button, click the three dots. Click add subpage and name your subpage. So I'm going to name the first one as classwork. I'm going to add another subpage titled uh, contact. So now in my demo site, I have two subpages. Now, in order to see these subpage choices from your home page, you will need to click the settings icon, navigation, and change the mode to either top or side. So this way, when you view your web page, your sub pages will appear on the left side of your page. Or you can choose to keep the sub page option on the top. So if I view it, you will see the sub page options show on the top. Next, once you create your subpages, you can click on each of your subpage and it leads you to the actual subpage. So notice that under I am in classwork subpage and I am in contact subpage. Next. Now you will have to change the header design because I don't want the home page header in my subpage. So you will have to change the header design using the same way as you did with the home page banner. So for example, I can change the image and upload from my desktop. Click open and I'm going to make sure that I delete this title as a text and adjust readability so that it's clear. Another option is to click change image, select image from the gallery. They have pretty cool gallery templates. So I'll choose that and select and I will change my title text into, well, it's contact. That's perfect. And then you can either adjust, remove the readability feature like this or keep it so that your text is easier to read. Step three is adding the main page buttons. Adding the subpage um, buttons in the main page really allows students to easily see the resources in your site and access them. So you can create your own buttons with the subpage title, or you can simply upload an image that corresponds to your subpage, or even a text, a simple text would do. So I'm going to go back to my home page. And here you can double click on any blank space and it will give you a circular menu with up upload options. Now you can either click the text icon and add a text. Or you can add a file from Google Drive or you can add an image by clicking the red image icon. Lastly, you can also upload your image from the desktop. So I'm going to show you an example of using my um, button template. 
So I'm going to click images. And I have all these buttons. I'm going to use the classwork image and click insert. After you're done with adding your subpage image buttons that you like, you're going to need to hyperlink each image so that it leads to the corresponding subpage. In order to do that, you will click on the image. So I'm clicking on the classwork image. Click the little insert link icon and choose the subpage that you want to link this image to. So I want this to be the classwork subpage and click apply. Again, click on the image, link icon, contact, apply. This is an example that I did as a text. I'm going to delete that for now. If you would like to see what your website looks like from a student's view while editing, you're going to click preview here on the top. So this is what your students would see when they're visiting your website. So once I click the classwork icon, it will lead me to the subpage classwork. You go back. If I click on the contact button, it will lead me to the contact subpage. I'm going to exit the preview and in order to exit, you're just going to simply click the exit preview button on the bottom. I have added my watercolor buttons um, if you want to use those on the left side or if you would like to create your own buttons uh, using Google Slides, you can use my template on the right side, right bottom side. Step four is embedding the Google Slides or any Google Documents. What helped me the most last year after the closure is having a weekly overview of Google Slides under the Classwork subpage where my students can see the assignment overview of the week. So first, let me show you my example. I am in my Google site, and if I click period six classwork, I have embedded and inserted my overview slides where I have linked all my assignments, including the weekly check-ins, the slides deck for my live synchronous classes and asynchronous work for the week, all in one single page. From my end, all I have to do is to update my slides with the correct link every week. So I have this weekly slide bookmarked in my browser. So if you can see, I have this weekly uh, overview slide already bookmarked. And all I have to do is to add, keep on adding extra um, weeks to this slide. And it automatically updates in my Google Now site. to insert and embed your Google slide or any Google document from your drive, Let's go to the classwork page. Just as we did before, you're going to double click on any blank space and we want to insert a document from our drive. So you're going to click this and you will find the document. You have to look for the document you would like to insert. So what I so you can find it from your drive or shared with me drive. I personally like to go to recent files and add, um, look for my recent file that I wanna add. So for example, let's see, oh, there it is. So I wanna add my weekly assignment slide and insert it. And I want to adjust the size. You can adjust the size to make it look bigger. So let's say when students see this page, I'm going to go to preview. They will see these, the, your Google Slides embedded and inserted on your subpage. 
So they have an option of um, expanding this for them to see it in a bigger screen, or they can actually uh, click the hyperlink that you have added. The last step of creating your first Google site is to publish your site. So you're going to click the blue button, publish button, and you're going to create a unique word or two of your site URL. So for example, I'm going to write Mrs. Park demo site. You're going to hit publish. Now my website is published. So notice that if you click on the little link icon on the top, so this is where you can access your Google site URL address and you can copy this link. Now this is the final link of your Google sites and the link that you will share with your One students. last thing, whenever you make any changes to your Google site, it automatically saves those changes but you will need to click the publish button for your students to see the actual changes. So don't forget to click publish every time you make any changes in your website. That's it. I hope you found this video helpful and gave you a confidence to start your own class Google site. The links to my Google Slides deck is below. And if you have any questions or you have a topic that you would like me to cover, please leave me a comment here or direct message me on Twitter. Thanks for watching, guys.